What is up YouTube? I have been getting a ton of questions lately asking about what exactly it is I do for a living and how I work on social media. And that was not always the case. So today I'm gonna dive in and share with you exactly how it is that I went from being a full-time college student, full-time teacher, to now working 100% for myself. Because Sundays aren't as stressful when you work for yourselves. And I always talk about how I love Sundays, how I love Mondays, and I think that's what brought this question up so much. So today we're gonna dive into exactly what it is I do, how I was able to do that, but first, I'm gonna take these pups on a walk, and as soon as they hear that word, they're gonna freak out. Did you hear me say walk? Enzo hasn't heard yet. I'm gonna take them on a walk. Jacob and I are giving up coffee and all forms of caffeine actually for an entire two weeks. So in my opinion, that means all the coffee I can drink today, right? Enzo, did you hear me? Do you wanna go on a walk? <laughs> you guys wanna go on a walk? Enzo? Yeah. <laughs> These dogs are crazy. I'm gonna take them on a walk, I'm gonna get coffee, and then we will sit down and chat about what it is I do for a living. sure why I don't ever take advantage of living so close to a coffee stand. This is literally the first time I've ever walked here, but it's like 70 degrees and it's only 10 a.m. So taking advantage of the sun, taking advantage of walking these puppies, getting their energy out of them, because it's just me and them today. Jacob is golfing. So coffee, 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 before we cut it all out. We are back from getting coffee. No, this is not milk. I was not aware that white coffee is not a thing like globally. I thought that it was, and apparently it's not. So white coffee is amazing. I walked and got myself coffee. First off, I researched via Google that white, white coffee actually has more caffeine than like brown coffee, black coffee, than regular coffee. So. I went all out today because we are, there's my dryer, because we are giving up caffeine for 14 days, for two full weeks. Now I know that's not like a huge thing and I know that's like, I'm sure a lot of you are like, okay, what's the big deal? Jacob and I have been taking pre-workout coffee on a somewhat regular basis for the last couple of years without giving our body any sort of caffeine break. So that's why we've decided to do this whole caffeine cleanse, just no caffeine for two weeks, um, upping our water a little bit more and just kind of getting our body back to like a normal state. It has nothing to do with weight loss, nothing to do with any of that. We just simply want to reset our caffeine intolerance. So going all out with our coffee today, right? So this is a white coffee Americano with a little bit of sugar-free white chocolate and a little bit of almond milk. So it looks like milk, tastes like amazingness. White coffee kind of has like a coconutty flavor for those of you that have never tried it. Um, I'm sure you can find it online and make it yourself. I've never made it myself. I always go to a coffee stand when I want it, but it's amazing. So like I said earlier, I just kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about what it is I do for a living, how I turned social media into my full-time job, because that is like the biggest question I get, right? And I totally get it because I used to ask the same question. I was like, how do people work on social media? And it's not necessarily that I work on social media. So let's take it back three years, right? Let's take it back five years. So five years ago, I was in college. I was 50 pounds heavier than I am today. I was very unhappy, very unenergetic. I literally lounged around all day watching Netflix. And if that's you, it's totally okay. It's just not how I envisioned my life, right? I wanted more out of life and I wanted to feel fulfilled. I had changed my major in college like three or four times, having no clue what I really wanted to do, but I kind of settled with teaching. I knew that I wanted to help people in some way and I didn't know what else could be done. So I went into the teaching um, kind of realm and was just about done with teaching when I kind of realized that I wanted to shift my life. So throughout college, like I said, I was very unhappy, very unhealthy the first couple of years. I realized that no quick fix was gonna make me feel better, that I needed to really 
figure out how to live a ha happy, healthy life in order to feel happy and healthy. So I kicked all the fad diets aside and I put in the work. And I know that's not the answer so many people wanna hear, but I promise you it's what's gonna help you feel your best long term. So I started working out on a regular basis. I started eating healthier on a regular basis. I started really just caring for my body, waking up, having intention with each day. And no, I'm not perfect. Obviously, this is not the healthiest thing in the world, right? I still live life. I still enjoy things, but I make more healthy choices than I do unhealthy. So throughout college, I lost about 40 pounds um, within like six months. I lost about 40 pounds within six months because I was working towards a trip. A bunch of girls in my sorority invited me to go to Hawaii with them. And this was when I was at my he heaviest. So we booked the trip. Um, I was very, very nervous. I was not sure if I was gonna even go because I was so unhappy in my, in my own skin. So I was like, okay, this is the bottom line. It's time to make a change, right? So th that day, it was like middle of the week, I decided to focus on my health and fitness. Within that six months before the trips, I had lost about 40 pounds. And on that trip, my life changed forever. I knew that I wanted to have that energy forever. I wanted to feel confident in my skin like that forever. And I wanted to continue making health and fitness a priority in my life. So when I got back from Hawaii, I actually like dove into learning more about the body, learning more about nutrition, learning more about fitness and how, how you should treat your body to achieve your goals. And it became a huge passion of mine up until my senior year of college. Um, I was learning all that I could about it while still going to school to be a teacher. And it was that year that my grandpa was actually diagnosed with cancer. And so up until then, I had really learned that fitness was huge, right? And up until that point, I still ate m kind of unhealthy, but I knew that if I worked out a ton, that I could kind of compensate for that. And that's not true. You should never outwork a bad diet. But that's kind of how I was going through it. Not proper, not how it should be done, but until my grandpa was diagnosed with cancer and I really learned like how I'm fueling my body overall is going to impact my life later down the road, I realized like that really, really mattered at that point when he was diagnosed with cancer. Our air conditioning keeps kicking on. Anyways, hopefully you can hear. Um, so when my grandpa was diagnosed with cancer and we were making trips back and forth to Seattle and I was seeing him just not, basically seeing him, his body fail him, right? He had the best attitude, the best intentions. He, he was the biggest fighter I knew and never wanted his body to fail him. And that's what happened. His body was slowly just not doing what he wanted it to. And that really solidified for me how important overall, everything, every little thing we do in our life impacts us later down the road. How we work out, what we eat, how we sleep, how we treat our bodies on a day-to-day -day basis, it's going to impact us later. And I realized then that I really wanted to help other people see that and to help other people feel their best, but also live their best life. And so around that point is when I decided, okay, maybe I went into the wrong major yet again. But I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot change my major again for like the fifth time. I'm just about to graduate. I was literally going into my senior year of college. So I continued. I was going into my senior year, starting my student teaching, um, which is super time consuming. It was like a week later that I saw a post on social media looking for health and fitness coaches. And I was like, what? This sounds way too good to be true. But it just kept like haunting me. I was like, what is it? And I knew that if I, if I didn't like pursue it, that I would always wonder what if. So I researched it a little bit more, learned a little bit more about it, learned about what it involved, still felt like it was way too good to be true, still felt like it was like a scam, I guess. And I was just like, how can I work on social media in addition to college, in addition to my student teaching, and in addition to driving two hours every single day? I was like, there's no way. But I was so excited about it and I was so excited about helping other people that I just dove all in. So I became a health and fitness coach three years ago, online. Yes, everyone that I help is online. And that is now my full-time job. So I actually will link down below um, if you're interested in hearing a little bit more like in depth as to what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. You can totally fill out the little uh, become a coach application in the comments below. But I'm gonna give you guys kind of like a brief explanation as to what it is I do as a coach. So like I said, when I started, I was a full-time college student. 
full-time student teacher, commuting two hours a day, and I was becoming a, an online health and fitness coach. Now it's not easy, it's not something that you're just gonna wake up and be making tons and tons of money, right? Like it's a legit job, and it's something that's taken time to grow. So basically what I do, and you guys, I had no social media to start with. So now I do have some sort of a social media following. I literally had 20 followers when I got started, 20 to 25 followers, like very few, family and friends. And I just started sharing my journey. I started sharing what I was doing in the gym, sharing what I was doing at home if I was doing a home workout. I started sharing some of my nutrition, sharing my progress, and then I opened up a boot camp to help other people do exactly what I was doing, to take them through the exact same programs that I was doing. And my very first boot camp, I helped eight people, eight clients of my own, and they got amazing results. And that was the time that I was just like, this is what I wanna do. This is what I wanna do for my entire life. And I became so passionate about it, so I started pouring a little bit of more time into it. Um, helping more people, posting more on social media, sharing more of my journey, sharing what was working for me, what wasn't working for me, and just building this community online of people that have honestly become my friends. Some of the people that I've met on social media will be standing next to me in my wedding. That's how crazy my life has changed, right? Like that's insane to me that one of my now best friends I met through social media because of coaching. So month by month by month by month, I was helping more and more people in my boot camp. Um, one year into coaching, I was able to actually graduate college and never had to get a full-time teaching job. I did substitute long-term for a couple ma uh, maternity leaves. Hi, Miss Kaya. Um, for a couple teachers that were on maternity leave. You see Kaya's tail. <laughs> Kaya, hi Kaya. She's such a baby. Okay, lay down. Um, I did substitute for a couple teachers, whether it be maternity leave or just long-term leave or whatever, for a little while and I realized very quickly as much as I loved teaching and loved helping the kids and loved impacting them in any way I could, I did not like working on someone else's schedule. I did not enjoy having to ask for time off. I didn't enjoy having to teach specific things in specific ways and I wanted freedom. So I graduated in April of 2015, I believe. 2016 I think 2016 April 2016 I graduated from from teaching I had my teaching degree secondary education art and English um, and I did apply for two teaching positions I was hired on at one on the spot and I was able to turn the position down and I've been doing this a hundred percent from home ever since and that right there was the biggest dream that's what I always wanted. When I have kids someday, I wanna be able to stay home with them like my mom stayed home with me. I wanna be able to support them and create a college fund for them and do these things for them that I always dreamed to do. And coaching has allowed me to do that. And I know that sounds very vague, but really every single day, hopefully that air conditioner was not too loud, um, literally every single day, I'm making these real, like I'm not hiding anything in these videos for you guys. I'm not gonna try and polish it. So if there's air conditioner in the background, that's life. If I spill coffee on myself, <laughs> that's life. Like, I just wanna be real and honest with you guys and hopefully you appreciate that. But I just, I, it's very hard for me to explain exactly what it is I do in a day because it's so simple. I literally wake up every single day, I live my healthiest life possible, I share it on social media, and I help other people in my monthly boot camps. And, and it's amazing. And in the beginning, it was just me, just Jade, all by herself, and now I have a tribe of hundreds of women helping me on my mission to create a happier, healthier universe. And that's so cool to me. Like I said, I've met some of my best friends, but I started with only like 20 to 30, maybe an hour a day. I didn't have tons of time all the time. I had to work in little power pockets throughout the day. And now it's what I do all day, which is so cool. Some days I work for like 10 minutes, some days I work for like 10 hours, but it never feels like work and I know that I hear that all the time. Like if you find what you love, it's not gonna feel like work. It's work, but it doesn't feel like work because I totally enjoy every single aspect of it. Um, no, it's not always easy to post on social media. No, it's not always easy to help people when they're feeling their worst when they come to you. But it's so, so empowering to be able to help somebody um, go from being very unhappy to, to being their absolute most radiant version of themselves. There's been a couple of women that have come to me unable to conceive because of their health issues, go through my boot camp, lose weight, feel amazing, 
and conceive a child. Like that is so powerful to me. And that right there is exactly why I do what I do. So yes, I'm able to work from home. Some days I work from a coffee shop. I do have a little home office and, and I will take you guys in there so you can kind of see. But what I want you to know is when I started, I lived in a three bedroom townhouse with five roommates. We were piled in there and I didn't have an office space. I didn't have a clue what I was supposed to do. I never knew how to post on social media. I didn't even take selfies before that. Like it was very weird to me and now it's my full-time job. Now I do have an office. Now I do have a little home workout area, but it's because I decided to dream big. So if this is something that you've ever even considered, if you even wanna learn a little bit, never hesitate to reach out to me. I will put a link down below for a little coach application for more information, but never feel obligated I simply want to share my life on social media and share what I am doing and share what's working for me because if this opportunity never fell into my lap, my life would look a whole lot different. So I will take you into my office in just a second, but be sure to subscribe and click like if you are enjoying these videos. I'm going to do my absolute best in the month of June to post almost every single day. Now I know I'm just going to say this right now. I know I'm not going to post every single day because we have a couple big events this week or this month sorry we have our big coach event at the end of the month where we are going with our entire team to indianapolis and i just know that it is not going to be possible for me to upload every single day during that week but before then i'm going to do my best i promise you this my best to get videos up as as often as possible but it's going to help me know what's working and know what you're enjoying by you clicking like and by you clicking subscribe and it always Feel free to follow me over on Instagram. That is where you will see my day-to-day -day life and behind the scenes and Instagram stories. And let's hop into my office. All right, so here is my little home office. So in yesterday's video, we sat right here and I shared with you all of my fitness equipment and stuff like that. This is the gym flooring I was talking to you about. Just a little gym area. And then on this side is my little home office. Not, nothing crazy, nothing amazing, but I love it. And it's a huge upgrade from the kitchen counter in my little townhouse. So I just have two little desks. I got both of these desks off of Amazon. We buy everything off of Amazon. And obviously I have my Mac, which is my baby, and another display just so I have more room. So this is where the magic happens, you guys. I always get asked to do a home office tour nothing crazy i keep things pretty simple but two little desks that i simply put together i have my printer and my cricut and then i have this desk a couple books fake plant because i can't keep a real plant alive and that's about it i do think this is really cool and i get asked about this a lot this is simply a little piece of glass and I put this vinyl on the top of it, so it's like a weekly calendar, and it's raised off the wall a little bit. So if you can see that, it's just off the wall a little bit. So I keep my, my office very white and bright and clean, and it's where I love to spend my days. So if I'm not here, I'm in a coffee shop, and this is my work buddy. Right, Ellen? We work a lot, and we love it. All right, you guys. I will see you in our next video. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing kind of what I do in a day, where I work, how I work, how I was able to make this my full-time income. And like I said, any questions, comments, concerns, or anything you'd like to see in future videos, put them in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys soon.